computers and video allow us to bring the outside world in at very little cost. Maths and science requires a lot of detailed work to work towards a big idea. Computers and video allow us to bring the big ideas into the classroom. If you're not inspired to reach those big ideas, you might not do the nitty gritty that's needed to get there. Sine and cosine in a right angled triangle, how does that relate to a circle? How does that produce waves? This explains it better than I could. Students need to connect what they're learning to the big ideas, sequences, another area that's not always obvious what its applications are. Now I'm going to generate a fractal before your very eyes. What you see here is what's called the seed, and it's an appropriate word in this case. The big ideas inspire us to aim to try and do the hard work to get there. We can maybe recreate nature using these fractals and maybe combined with our understanding of DNA coding, then sequences and DNA coding, humans can recreate nature, inspire them with the big ideas. This picture entirely made by fractals. So there's also multiple representations. Why is this line called x equals three? Geometry lines linked to numbers coordinates linked to algebra. Students can experiment they're not afraid because they get lots of feedback. It encourages them to investigate, to discover the mass themselves. It becomes clear why this line is called x equals 3. And they can do the same with these coordinates on a diagonal line. And then here's one without any coordinates, um, without any line, and they have to find out what the line is. And then you can give them a test, and they can make the link again between number, algebra, geometry, making those links, feedback, investigation. They could directly put in the input the equation themselves, but maybe they don't feel comfortable. So again, it's scaffolding them to that understanding. I'm going to reflect this object in that line. It's not quite right. And what I really want them to get focus on is why we need equations to define reflections. So I'm going to get them to show the equation of that line. And I'm going to put them in intercept and slope form. And they're going to see that the whole time. And then they're going to be able to adjust that and experiment and discover and feedback.